Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to implement BHAT testing in Drupal. So BHAT is a open source PHP framework that will automate testing by leveraging behavior driven development. Uh, which means, so if you are doing some action in Drupal, uh, you can check how the Drupal behaves, okay? So you can completely automate testing by you by using the BHAT testing. Now I'm going to show you how to do a BHAT site testing setup in Drupal and also very simple example. In future, I will be posting uh, compli complicated uh, uh, behavior testing scenarios, everything I will post it. So uh, before doing a setup, you just need to download a uh, Drupal extension. So which will give you all the uh, behavior testing dependent libraries. So you just need to copy and paste it. It will download all the dependent libraries. Now all the libraries are downloaded. Once everything is downloaded, uh, in your vendor folder, if you go to vendor, bin, ls, you will be able to see a behead file. So which is going to uh, uh, run over all the uh, testing files. So let me go back. And then vendor slash bin slash behead. First, you need to initialize the behead. So it will be creating some class files and also uh, feature files. So whatever testing you are writing in behead, it will be in the extension of dot feature. And then uh, you need to create a configuration file called behead.yml. I will tell you next that. So now you can see uh, here it is created feature folder. So that folder contain all the dot feature files where you are going to uh, write your test scenarios. And uh, here, uh, this is a context file. So uh, context classes means uh, if something you are writing in a test scenario, how the Drupal should work on that particular action. So that is what context, where you have to define your object-oriented way to define your test, how it works, okay? And by default, it provide your uh, basic definition, hooks, transformation definition, all those I will explain it in future. And now uh, this is created. Next, what you have to do? So when you go to your uh, Drupal site, Drupal behead. So here you will be able to see a file called feature. So where you have the feature file in the same file, you have to create a, a new file that is behead.oml. Sorry, it's behead dot yml. So now it is created the behead dot yml. So here I'm going to keep all my files. So before that, I will show you window slash bin slash behead iPhone DL. So it will list all the test whatever we have by default. So by default, it will not come any uh, lists by default. So what you have to do? So all the uh, test scenarios are defined in the context file. So we need to include all those context files in your YML file so that we can, we can read those, those class files and it can list all the steps, whatever we have already, okay? So that's why I'm copying it and pasting it here. So once this is done, now let me go on to run it. <clears throat> okay, so it's saying uh, Ming Goat driver is not there. So you have to download them. Let me open the JSON file. So here we have, so if the by default, it, it will not get uh, downloaded. So you just copy the library name and download it. Now it is downloaded. Let me run DL command. 
So now you can see we have a lot of steps here which you can use to test your Drupal site. So let me copy all and have it in the notepad. All these steps are defined in those context class files, okay? So whatever we define here. So when you see here, so these are the class files we included, right? So all these steps are defined in these context files. So I added all of them. So let me show you by opening any one file if you want. And Drupal extension context. So if you see here, uh, here you can see, so given an anonymous user, so you can go and check here. So here you, can, you have the step. But like this, all the steps are defined in your context file in a comment line. So this is, you can create your own custom step by using your context file. I will post all those in future. So let me show you very basic example with behead, okay? So now we all set. Now the setup is completely done. Next, what you have to do in your uh, Drupal site, Drupal behead, you have to go to feature folder. Here you have to create a file which is going to do some test for our site, okay? So let me create a file. CD features. Touch. I'm going to create a file name as test dot feature. So all the files should be with the extension of dot feature. Okay. So then now the file is created. And then uh, next thing you have to do, you have to create a, a scenario. They already have all those. Let me take that. So here you can see uh, first you need to define a feature, what feature it is. So here I will be checking for link availability. Okay, and next in order to check, check the page. As a user, I need to be able to see the link. The link. Okay, so uh, I will explain what I'm doing. So this text is optional in the scenario. If you want, you can have it or you can completely remove this, both will work. Okay, so what it is, is that you have to, like we have a syntax of key value pair in YML file, right? In the same way you have a, some structure way to write test in your feature file. So first you have to define a feature. So what feature it is, this file contain what? So here you can see, uh, we are checking whether the link is available in that particular page or not. So in order to check the page and as a, as a user and I need. So these are the standard you have to use in the first three lines in order to, as a, and I need to, or I want to, whatever you want, you can use it. So once this is written, next you have to define the scenario. So you can have n number of scenarios in the same feature file. So here you can see first scenario what I have written. So I should be able to see the link. And these are represented as a steps. Okay, first given as an anonymous user, which means if I am an anonymous user, when I go to the registered page, register user slash register page, I should be able to see the login link. Okay. So this is what scenario I have written. And you can see, you can take all the steps from the draft file, which we copy pasted. So as an anonymous user, first one. So next one is path. It will be with some token. So given I am at the path. So when I am at the path. So you can use 
given, when, then, but, and so based on the scenario, you will have to use it. So all will be uh, considered as same for B head, but for readability, you have to mention given, when, then, okay? And then I should see. I should see the link. You can see then as a final output, I should see the link of something. So that is user login. Okay. So now what we are going to do. So let me copy paste it in uh, register private window and I'm going to the registration page. So now the page user registration page is open. So here you have a link of login. Okay. So when you run this feature, so let me run it. Uh, vendor slash bin slash b hat. So you can just give enter. So if you uh, just run the b hat file, what will happen? It will run all the feature file. But if you want to run any particular feature file which you are working on right now, so you can give the file name here. That is tested of feature. So what will happen? Only this particular file will be executed. So here you can see it's running. So first one, it's accepted given I am an anonymous user. So now you can see our complete test is ran successfully. So when I am at this path, I can see the login. So the test is passed and we have one scenario which ran successfully. Okay, let me show you the false. So I should not see. So here you can see we have one step that is, I should not see the link. Okay, so which I have used here, I should not see the link. But we have a login link, right? So the test should get failed. Let me show you what is happening. So you can see the link login was present on the page. Okay. So sorry. Uh, what happened is that in my behead.yml, it is running the test in the Drupal summary instance. We have to run it on this, right? So let me change it. You have to give the base URL. Since I copy pasted the same behead.yml file, it is running in the another instance. So I just changed the name now. Let me run it again and show you. So you can see here now, uh, when I am at user slash register page, I should not see login. The login was present on the page, localhost, Drupal behead, user slash register page. So the test is, failed here and let me show you by removing not since I ran the test on the other instance. So you can see now the test is passed. So this is how you have to do a behavior testing site setup in your Drupal instance and you can create your own very basic test scenario in your Drupal instance. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.